This is Nepal's capital, Kathmandu. And people here, like everywhere else, love their smartphones and mobile apps. Young and old seem to be busy connecting. And online security seems to be on everybody's mind. Certain things have has to be kept within a limit. Because I have had friends who had uh, the issues of fake IDs being created by, all, uh, by the pe other people. So that created a lot of problems for them. A tech entrepreneur here in Kathmandu has been developing a mobile-based social networking app. It's expected to be like a customized Twitter, but without a digital footprint. So it means users can set a time for when their posts and updates will be deleted, giving them a chance to express themselves freely. We met Bimal Maharjan, the man behind 11B, the new app. We don't have data. We are going to delete, uh, not just like when people say it's deleted, it's deleted for the users, but it remains in the server where everything is stored. But we are going to delete from everywhere. The app gives a choice for people to express themselves anonymously. Bimal says it'll give a new meaning to freedom of speech. There are countries like that where you can't speak your mind and you are criminalized for that. In one of the countries, one of the journalists was arrested for tweeting about the country. I mean, that should be, should be heard. So how can we prevent from the person being arrested for that? With more than 35 million smartphone users in India, 11Beep hopes to capture the market there. But the app still has potential for abuse. The team is working on making it safer and is looking into launching the product soon. Sabina Shrestha, Al Jazeera, Kathmandu.